So in this video, we're revealing the 10 online business ideas for beginners and how complete beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to $160,000 in profit in as little as 90 days. So check it out right now. Oh yeah, so here's just like two of the online business ideas that are paying me really, really good money from the 10 that we're gonna go over in this video. Like you can see one of these things in the past 365 days, we literally went from like $7 a day in August 15, all the way upwards to like, for example, $300 in a single day within six months. Okay, so even just that alone as an online business model, like think about how life-changing that was. Like back when I was a broke college student, suddenly become a dentist, if I could even just make like a third of that, I was like, man, you know, I could pay for my student loan debt, I could pay for my credit card debt, I could help my family, I could maybe do a little bit of traveling. That was initially the goal, right? But even just from this one online business idea that we're gonna cover in this video, you'll see that not only did we do that, but it started growing like crazy with the methods that we're gonna talk about in this video. Like even in the point in the past 28 days, we're now just averaging $1,000 a day in profit, as well as on the side of that, if we look at another online business idea that we are gonna cover in detail in this video, you can see in the past 30 days, we've netted about 40 grand with no product, with no background experience, and with no tech skills. So your problem with Mike, how the hell did that come about? Well, it went through a lot of sifting of online business ideas. You don't realize this at the time, but some businesses work really, really, really well for like a short amount of time, and others may be a little bit harder to get started, but it will pay you the big bucks for a more consistent long-term amount. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm sick and tired of going from one online business idea to another and having the shiny object syndrome where I'm like, oh my God, let me try that, or maybe let me try that. And I just wanna find an online business idea that can actually make me long-term income while I sleep so that I can provide for my family, travel around the world, and have the safety and security that comes when you have consistent terms of income. Which is why when I saw this thing right here, which is um, from overlord.com, they say how to make money online, 28 real online business ideas to actually make money. I wanna compare you know, the reality of things with the expectations of what people expect when they're getting in an online business. Hopefully we can find 10 good online business ideas and if we can't, don't worry, I have a bunch of free things that I'm gonna give you anyways. Let's actually check it out. The first thing that they talk about is dropshipping. Now I wanna let you know exactly what dropshipping is and also that I started with dropshipping when I first got started and why maybe I transitioned. So dropshipping is pretty simple. You have a customer. The customer places an order on your website for 200 bucks. Your store, you get like 50 bucks profit. You forward the order to a supplier and the, you pay wholesale so it's 150 bucks. The supplier then ships directly to your customer. You are this, you never see the product, you never touch the product, you never even handle any of like the logistics when it comes to that. You profit 50 bucks and the only time you have to buy the product at 150 is when you sell it for 200 bucks. So because like a lot of these blog articles don't go into detail, I'll just show you exactly what I mean by that. One of the best and easiest ways to get started with an online business idea is literally to sell things on eBay and start dropshipping on there. Like one of the things that I would do back in the day was I would sell like wooden bunk beds, right? And as you can see, there's a lot of these bunk beds that look a little too like high quality in terms of pictures. And what I found out that a lot of these people were just simply like drop shipping it, right? You can see this is being sold for $242 per sale and seven people have already bought this. One views this per hour. I realized that if you literally come in here, copy the description of some of these things and you could just come over here to Google and paste that, you will see that this literally exact same thing is also being offered on Walmart. Check this out, but it only goes for $199. So look at this, it's also the exact same picture. Uh, pink curtains, same thing here, pink curtains. Exact same picture, the only difference is this $242 and this is $199. So you can literally see that this is exactly what they're doing that actually works, what I made $100 a day profit doing this method. You can see, customer places order on your website. If you don't have any tech skills, you could just go on eBay. They pay you $242. You then forward the order to the supplier, which in this case, you're literally just taking the order form um, and the customer information from eBay and you're just buying it from Walmart with their own information, but you use, of course, your debit card or your credit card. I would recommend credit card because you get free cash back and travel rewards points. Then you just pay it off the 199 with the money that you've already made because you get paid first with this. 
This is exactly what the dropshipping model is. And like I said, I got $100 a day doing this method completely for free. The second thing they talk about is print on demand. Print on demand is providing a popular option too. Graphic designers are turning the business model to sell designs on clothing and other products to monetize their art better. Print on demand is similar to dropshipping in the sense that you don't need to carry inventory or ship out products to customers yourself. There are two slight differences first. You can add branded labels on packages, okay. And then it gets like pretty interesting and uh, whatnot. Like I said, I'll just do a quick video tutorial right here. One thing that they did not mention, which is one of the best ways to get started with print on demand is literally merch by Amazon and it's free to get started. Look, look at this. We sell your designs at Amazon products, reaching millions of customers worldwide with no upfront investment cost to you. And then if you come in here, you'll see that, oh my God, look at this. If I just come in here, type in cat t-shirts, you will see that all these products are print on demand. You don't actually have to touch these inventories. You don't have to like get a bunch of t-shirts from China and print them yourself. Literally, when someone comes in here, buys this for $21, because you uploaded your artwork on Merch by Amazon, which is an Amazon company, you set the list price, they print what you've sold, they send it via shipping um, and of Prime, you earn monthly royalties from this. I actually have a friend that was making $10,000 per month with this profit, and I got to, to the point where I was earning like $1,000 a day in revenue when I did this with like elephant t-shirts and Jesus t-shirts and whatnot. Now you're probably wondering, well Mike, I'm not a graphic designer. It says it's like for a graphic designer. I wanna start that as an online business, but I'm not a graphic designer. It's pretty simple. You could literally get somebody to just do the graphic design for you. Like if I just come over to Pinterest and uh, I type in, for example, cat T shirt, you will literally see all the top t-shirts that are being saved onto people's pin boards because they wanna buy it, right? So it shows high buyer's intent. So you see cat mom, Meow, I mean some of these designs are so simple. My fitness level is cat, it means I'm lazy. Some of these are just simple text. You can literally screenshot all of these. You can literally go to Upwork and then type in, for example, graphic designer. Scroll down, literally type this in, go over and type in Philippines. And then it'll literally just like come in here and do $10 an hour and below and you can see that some of these will literally just charge like $10 an hour, $10 an hour, $8 an hour to go ahead and make these simple images for you. And I remember I got to the point where I was getting into the point where it was like a dollar to two dollars per image. And then you could just upload it onto Merch by Amazon for free. And just like that, you could sell on Amazon for free without actually ever having to have your own inventory. So that also works. We got number two. The third thing is making money with affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing, I absolutely love it. Like uh, affiliate marketing is one of the most popular ways to make money online throughout the years. Its popularity has gone up and down, but it continues to prove to be a sustainable way Keyword, sustainable and stable way to make money online. The best part about affiliate marketing is you can be an affiliate for nearly any company. So like Shopify, Amazon, affiliate marketers allow you to earn a living by promoting other brands. If you're a savvy marketer, you can earn a commission from sales by promoting retail products, softwares, apps, and more. While earning a commission may seem small, keep in mind that you can be an affiliate for several brands and include several affiliate links to a single blog post. If you need help with that, we have a free five day bootcamp in the link below helping you with your own website and blog. But I like a new form of affiliate marketing that they're not talking about. And that's high ticket affiliate marketing. Instead of getting like, you know, like most people they're like, oh my God, you know, sign up for Amazon's affiliate program, which all it is, it's Amazon Associates. And you can sign up for free. The problem with this is your commissions are maybe like, pennies like i think from this affiliate program i made like 50 dollars in a single month maybe a hundred bucks in a single month i didn't like that because my commissions were like cents or you know literally like a dollar or two what i like doing is a hybrid of affiliate marketing with high ticket where someone else does the selling for you they do the shipping and handling they do the product delivery because of the fact that it's more passive and you get higher commissions like to make 10 grand a month how fast would it be if you were only getting like for example 30 dollar commissions you would need to get 10 sales a day, every single day, that's 300 sales in a month to make 10 grand. Or you could literally sell 10 or five products for a $2,000 commission, right? So you could exactly see which one's easier, selling $300 products or 300 customers or just five people. And as you can see, that's why, like for example, on my end with affiliate marketing, you know, you see in the past 30 days, we have pulled in 40 grand, the low days, which you could see this dinky thing a couple days ago, was 470 bucks, that's super low. Right, but compared to this, compared to all these, it looks really low, even though it's like really life-changing as it is. Like if you told me as I was a broke college student, like living on the ramen noodle, ramen noodle diet and the dollar menu diet, that I can make $400 a day with affiliate marketing, I would have not believed you because I was just supposed to be a dentist, right? That's how much a dentist makes. But as you can see with high ticket affiliate marketing, it really adds up. 
Like you'd see, even though the day before that was zero, this one was $400, this one was $1,100, this was four grand in a single day, and this was 2,800, and like I said, in the net was 40. We can even go in in the past seven days, right? This day was not that good. The day before that was 1,400. The day before that was 400, 1,100, 4,000, 2,800. The reason why is because I'm not selling thousands of products, okay? I'm literally selling a handful of products every single day, just getting a couple of sales, but because it's high ticket affiliate marketing, I make more money consistently without having to do the back end stuff. So, so far out of this 28 online business ideas, it's pretty good. Uh, the starting a YouTube channel is like really good as well. You can see this. If other make money on from YouTube, so you can too. The highest paid YouTuber is a seven year old who reviews toys and makes 22 million in 2018 alone. Another higher earner is Jeffree Star who made more than 18 million on YouTube and has a cosmetic brand that sells about 100 million in products annually. His YouTube and MySpace fame helped him use his influence to make money. But what if you don't have any influence how would you go ahead and do it well this is exactly how I did it and how like just from the ads that play in the video we're making about a thousand dollars a day right but remember look at the past 365 days it was nothing right like like I showed you earlier on in the beginning it was only August 15 seven dollars in a single day how did a complete nobody who is supposed to be a dentist who doesn't have any background of any online business go from literally seven dollars in a day from uh, August 15 2020 within six months to my first $200 a day for the year. And then you see it go to $500 a day, $800 a day, to like at the highest I saw was like $1,300 in a single day. That was like mind blowing. I was like, oh my God, I'm not even as big as some of these people, but this is actually happening. How did I go ahead and do it? Well, it's pretty simple. When you come into here and you type certain things in, like for example, keto diet, like for example, one of my mentors that makes a million dollars per month profit that I interviewed on my podcast, so you can check in the link in the description, is all in a keto, right? So I'm like, oh, I'm interested in keto. Look at this, if I type in this word, keto diet for beginners, all these things pop up. What do you think this means? This is YouTube telling me if I make a video on this, people are searching for it, which means they're more likely to go ahead and find me. That was a key that happened to me. I started creating searchable content. If people are searching for it because YouTube is telling me exactly what people are searching for, I would literally go ahead and make money from it. Like here's something as simple as like for example, jump rope transformation. I saw people were typing jump rope transformation, right? So check this out. What video did you end up seeing? Look at this, jump rope transformation, 30 days. I literally just included what people are searching for and then I made a video on it. And look at this, 700,000 views. I could connect that with affiliate marketing and sell jump ropes on the back end with that and actually make money that way simply because I make content that people are searching for. If you make content that people are searching for, you can make money with YouTube. Now the fifth thing that they're talking about is becoming an influencer. I tried this, man. Before I started podcasting and like doing all of those things, you could see that like my last post on Instagram was like a long time ago, so I don't even really use Instagram, but I tried the influencer thing, man. I tried like taking a picture with my shirt off, like next to the pool and whatnot. I tried, you know, coming up to here and um, before I did all these podcasts, which is like even more fun in my opinion as an online business idea. I tried it all, dude. I put a puppy next to me. I took my shirt off. I was going around like doing like the Sam Coulter thing and guess what? I did not make much money from all of these. So if you're just trying to make an influence and you're like, oh, this is my online business idea, I'm telling you, there's a lot better ways to make money. Like for example, ranking on search on Pinterest or on YouTube or on Google. Way better than trying to just like look good and like put a little filter on it and whatnot, right? Like this, even though it looked really cool for my ego and it uh, made me wanna, you know, like prove to all my friends and family back at home that maybe I'm successful. It didn't do anything financially wise, right? So I wouldn't actually recommend number five. Number six, create an online course. Sharing knowledge is one of the best ways you can actually make money with it. If you're an expert on a subject, you can monetize your knowledge by creating online courses. You can sell a course on Udemy and you can make as much as $5,000 a month selling courses. Here's the thing, Udemy, very, very bad to get started with selling your own courses. I don't know why people actually go ahead and recommend it. Like to go ahead and sell Udemy, like I have a friend that sells on Udemy, he doesn't make anything from it. Like you're competing against other people that are selling their courses for $19 or $15. And another thing about courses, if you go higher, like I remember I would sell like a $500 course to a $1,000 course back in the day. And you know, you always have to like update it. And, and like I remember I had a, a course about Facebook ads, right? And every three months, Facebook ads updated, so I had to like redo the entire course. It's not as passive as you think. I prefer actually selling other people's courses because then they're the ones that do you know the, the updating of the course, and I can just like promote the sale and then get 50% of the profit. That's why I love high ticket affiliate marketing because one of the things that you could promote 
is someone else's course. They do the selling for you and you get half off of it. So this is exactly what I mean. I remember I did this podcast, got 130,000 views as well as this one, half a million views. I ended up promoting their products that they created and they gave me 50% of it. I didn't have to create the course. I didn't have to deliver it. I knew that they were going to give value because you know, 130,000 people showed that these people were someone of value, 552,000 views right here. And because of that, I literally got their super fans to go ahead and buy through me and I got 50% profit without actually having to build the online course, which meant I was able to get started really, really fast with no experience. If you're just a beginner and you're just getting started with it, courses are probably not going to be the best thing. Another one is publishing ebooks. So this is pretty interesting, right? Like you could literally go to, for example, KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing, and you can self publish ebooks and paperback books for free with Kindle Direct Publishing and reach millions of readers. Actually, if you literally come over to Amazon and you, for example, type in Mike Vasile, I actually make like a good amount in passive income. Not a lot, right? Something that could maybe pay for rent in like a third world country, right? <laughs> Nothing that I could live off of. But like, you know, I have an ebook and an audiobook and a Kindle book on here where actually I don't have to pay anything. For this, I don't have to ship the products myself. All of it is like in Amazon. All I do is just get royalties from this, right? And it's like an interesting way to make money online, but you're not gonna get rich off of it. The only way you could get rich off of it is if you scale with like very niche products. Like I had a friend that do it with like eBooks for women, um, dating, another one for keto. The ones that do the really best, I met a guy that made $10,000 a month and he was selling like werewolf love stories right on <laughs> like Kindle, which is really, really weird. Um, you gotta get into like the storytelling of things, but the funny thing about this is he had somebody else write it. You could literally get somebody to write it like on Upwork or um, like for example, you could come in here and type in like ghostwriter and get somebody for really cheap to write it. That's exactly how he did it. Now the eighth way to make money is starting a blog and I definitely recommend it. That's why I have a free five day bootcamp in the link below because if you don't wanna make videos like me, you could actually make money with the blog. In fact, the blog is exactly how I first started making money um, with like the content producer things because I was like, man, a blog is super passive, right? Set some uh, blog articles up and just make money from affiliate commissions. That was like ideal. We have a free five day bootcamp link below. Freelancing is good, but it's not as passive income as you think, right? It's a good way to get money, but as an online business, I'm telling you this right now, I deal with a lot of people that live here in Bali and they don't like dealing with clients all the time, right? Because clients are, are kind of like a hassle. And last thing is create an app, but that is pretty expensive. I know some app creators, but it could take upwards of 10 to 20 to $30,000 to get started. There's quite frankly a lot easier online business ideas. And I'm curious, which one of these would you actually enjoy doing? Comment in the link below. If you want a faster news when make money online, you want to find out exactly how with no product, I was able to pull in, you know, 11 grand in like the past seven days. Check out this week's free workshop where it's the fast and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. So let's check out my podcast of all these ways to make money online. Well, I'll tell you guys later. Yo.